Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another interesting beer review and another Hellas from Bavaria. This is from the Hofbräuhaus Traunstein, located in um, Traunstein, of course, in the very, very south um, east part of uh, Bavaria. So uh, just uh, north to the Alps is, uh, is this uh, town located. Uh, feel free to check out more about the town. As always in southern Bavaria, very beautifully located, and um, just uh, west of uh, Salzburg in uh, Austria is this town. Um, the um, look of the bottle is very uh, classical and traditional, in my opinion, German style look of the bottle with the um, front label and the V-shaped um, upper label right here. Uh, also. Not very fancy or modern look of the label, in my opinion. Feels like it has been uh, looking like this for a long time. Um, also, it feels like something that uh, could have been found in the 80s, probably. Um, so, I bet they put more energy into uh, quality uh, brewing instead of uh, renewing uh, labels and so on. You know, show you the cap here also from the Hofbräuhaus Traunstein um, and the logo here uh, with the coat of arms and the Bavarian flag as you can see the blue and yellow which is the Bavarian uh, colors site 1612 so quite old Hofbräuhaus Traunstein Helles gebaut nach dem Bayerischen Reinheitsgebot von 1516 um, and uh, yeah, this is um, their their most popular beer. Uh, it seems like their Hellas, uh, their normal. Um, I bet it's the most sold one. So it's a typical Bavarian Hellas, uh, mild in character, comparing to um, Pils or an Export or Keller beer or something like that, or the fruitiness in the in the Weiss beer. This is a um, a more uh, normal, mild, pale uh, lager beer has got 5.3 ABV uh, hergestellt und abgefüllt Hofbräuerhaus Traunstein Josef Seiler KG Hofgas Traunstein Deutschland Zutaten Wasser, Gerstenmalz, Hopfen show you the back label also right here uh, so this is a brewer with much history, Hofbräuhaus Traunstein. They do of course have uh, some other of the normal uh, German beer styles like Pils and uh, Weissbier and, uh, and so on. Feel free to check out their website also, I link to it, to it in the description box below as always. Uh, over to some history about this, uh, this brewery. Uh, the Bavarian Duke and the Sovereign Select, uh, Sovereign Elect Maximilian I, Elector of Bavaria, in uh, response to demand um, for beer, set up a Weisses Bräuhaus, uh, white brewery, with uh, completion in, uh, in 1612, opened initially with a public bar, the Wittelsbach Sovereign Maximilian I who had laid claim to the monopoly on wheat beer, used the brewery in order to balance the budget and repay the burden of debt, which had been um, accrued by way of inheritance from his father. However, due to the puritanical nature of Maximilian, he uh, enacted laws against opulent guest houses and against excessive wine and beer consumption despite the financial benefit that was uh, had from the brewery. Between 705 and 1851 the brewery was a victim of fire such as 704 initially when Pandus pillaged uh, Traunstein and in 1851 when arsonists raised the town to the ground, also destroying over 100 houses, the town hall, the country court, the main salt office, the pen pension office, the church and several towers apart from the upper tower. 
The brewery was saved by its workers who extinguished the flames with the very beer it produced. In 1799, with the death of sovereign elect Karl Theodor, the brewery was passed to his widow, Archduchess Maria Leopoldine of Austria Este, in the last electoral leadership. Following the uh, secularization of the new kingdom of Bavaria, occurred many ecclesiastical uh, breweries. In uh, 1806, Franz Reiter from Munich acquired the uh, Traunstein business along with all rights to brew wheat beer. In uh, 1821, it was um, then passed on to his um, on to Joseph. Windmassinger from Runding, who acquired it with lawyer Dr. Hutter. As well as wheat beer, the Traunstein began to brew dark brown beer. Up until the death of Windmassinger, they were joint owners of the Traunstein, and after his death in 1840, the member of the state parliament, Dr. Hutter, uh, bequeathed the brewery the right to serve, including brewing rights, to his son. Dr. Jur Alua Hutto, who was also a lawyer. During this time, there was a third town fire in 1851 and the Traunstein riot in 1868, when a controlled collection of the Bavarian reservists were detained. After the Austro Prussian War, the Prussian uh, military forced Bavarian soldiers and reservists to learn Prussian. As a result, they moved with their weaponry into Traunstein and barricaded themselves, resulting in riots and an exchange of fire between the Prussian military and Bavarian soldiers, in which one uh, gendarme fell victim within the Traunstein. Afterwards, as uh, lore goes, the Royal Bavarian Infantry and Reservists became so drunk that they were easily overrun and defeated. The Hofbräuhaus Traunstein remained in the ownership of the Hutter family up until 1896. Dr. Alois Hutter did not have any offspring, resulting in the taking over of the Traunstein upon the death of Alois in uh, 1896 by Peter Seiler, a brewery owner from Lauingen, and his father to uh, and father to three sons and one daughter. In 1919, during recovery following World War I, the brewery purchased the Sternbräu property and the uh, Backbrauerei Creek Brewery, uh, in English, uh, were also acquired. In 1975, Fritz Seiler, who assumed the position of his late uh, father Josef Seiler in 1934, was then able to expand the business after the end of the Second World War. In 1975, all eight varieties of the beer produced were awarded the highest accolade uh, gold medals from the Deutsche Landwirtschaftsgesellschaft, German Agriculture Society, a record in the history of the brewery. In 1982, the Hofbräuhaus Traunstein was also the first brewery in the world to have wheat beer on tap. In 1994, the Traunstein was one of the uh, first breweries in Bavaria and the country as a whole to become DIM certified, creating opportunities for the brewery guest house as well as the opening of a mini boy, uh, mini brewery, of course, in Munich, Cologne, and Berlin. Between 1997 and 2005, the Hofbräuhaus Traunstein was awarded numerous awards for in innovative marketing and uh, communication of event-oriented gastronomy concepts and its direct implementation, amongst others, by the HMSA Deutschland Hospitality Sales and Marketing Association, the Goldene Beer Idee Award from the Association of Bavarian Brewers and the Bavarian Hotel and Guest House Association. In 2009, the Traunstein added the European Beer Gold Star from uh, the Association of Independent Breweries in Bavaria for two beers, Helles and Fulstentrunk. This was added to its collection of 86 gold and silver medals since 1975. Uh, over to some um, short text about this specific beer. Um, 
the uh, Helles from Hofbräu House Traunstein, which I can read on their website. Um, brilliant pale yellow color, clear fine appearance, distinct malt flavor combined with a pleasant light note of hops and yeast. A wonderful bright beer, harmonious, full bodied, and wonderful balanced. 5.3 ABV, as I mentioned. Uh, one last look at the label before I'm gonna open it up. The Hofbräuhaus Traunstein Helles. Real typical uh, Bavarian Helles, I believe this is gonna be. Also interesting with a long history. Um, so it's 1612. Uh, I think that's it. Let's open this one up. The Hofbräuhaus Traunstein Helles. And pour it up. Quite good pouring this time. Uh, quite satisfied with it. The head rises up. Um, nice two finger head. Uh, important to maintain the white head all the way through while you drink the beer. It keeps the taste in the glass as I always mentioned. Um, can't be said too many times. Um, color rise also typical for the style. Can show it closer to you. Uh, right there. Beautiful with all the bubbles rising up. Really bright yellow color of it. Really nice white compact head also. Important to, to have that and also shows quality. Uh, so I bet this is going to be a really great um, traditional and uh, all the awards that has been given to it also. Let's get the aroma. Of course, very fresh, typical for the style. Uh, Bavarian Helles, nice quality. Um, as I used to say, easy to to feel the high quality raw materials and uh, great brewing process comparing to a more um, uh, factory um, made beers like uh, larger breweries just spit out as much as they can, but this brewery focuses on quality. Not something uh, that is possible to feel in the aroma and the taste, which of course is appreciated by me, and uh, that's why I I prefer um, to review uh, the beers that I'm having on the channel. Um, yeah, really, really nice, well balanced. So let's taste it. Die Hofbräuhe aus Traunstein Helles. But it's gonna be as good as, I guess, Prost. It's really nice, of course. Um, fine, mild um, flavor. Like a real, real, um, just the way a, a Bavarian health should be. Refreshing, nice. Um, this is a beer style that I always enjoy to drink. Um, it's really, really nice and this is really high quality. I understand why it has been um, awarded that many gold medals for um, its taste. It's really great. So. Um, Seems like it's something that I say often, but it's a big recommendation. The Hofbräuhaus Traunstein Helles. It's really great. Um, so, uh, hope you want to try to find it. A really classical one. Also, long history about the brewery. Um, and located in the very, very south east of Bavaria. Also makes this it's uh, very interesting. This is a really, really good Hellas. Great looking one. Still all the bubbles racing up. 
as you can see looks so beautiful so one finger white head really really nice house uh, probably one of the best colors I've had so easy to enjoy really nice in every way of course fantastic taste of it that's something you're, that you're gonna notice yourself if you give it a try how uh, refreshing and well balanced it is in my opinion um, so really really interesting brewery this um, and really really nice uh, Hellas it's amazing I really want to say really really great can't um, think of anything that would be um, possible to improve on this Hellas because it's uh, it's that good um, also feel free to check out their website I link to it and as I said as always in the description box below yeah really really nice this one So nice. That's the uh, Hopboy House Traunstein Helles. And it's a great beer. Uh, so uh, find it, try it. It's uh, worth to support the uh, traditional old breweries that's not um, very easy to find. Maybe um, I managed to find it in. In Germany, of course, and that's the only place where you could find um, any of the beers that are tried, I think. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, this one is worth definitely worth to to find and uh, to look for if you uh, would like a great, great Munich Helles. And if you're interested in trying different German beers, just the way I am. So. Uh, Big recommendation for me to the Traunstein Hofbräu House Helles. And I think that's it for now. And uh, I hope you continue to follow my channel and uh, that you are just as excited about the upcoming beer reviews uh, as I am. Because it's always fun to, to review um, German beers on the channel and uh, listen to the the comments from you so feel free to like comment and subscribe and hope i see you again in next peer review